What's up guys? Welcome, Ghulam Ahmed, geneactivated.ca. You guys have been doing amazing. This is day six. Congratulations if you made it this far. I'm super proud of you. We went through a whole week together, five days of the Ramadan home, uh, fat, uh, at home fat loss series. And this is gonna be day six. We've had two days off. I'm hoping you had some good dinners over the weekend from Sofiftari and we're gonna get right into it. So for this week and the following weeks, we're mostly gonna have the same types of workouts, but I'm just gonna increase the intensity a little bit, do a little bit of modification for the exercises to make them a little bit difficult. And I'm, so, I'm also gonna add a few like, the different exercises inside as well, just to you know change it up a little bit. So make sure you stay till the end, guys. I'm gonna share a very good stretch for your hamstrings at the end of this video, where it's gonna help out with a lot of people that have low back pain as well, and just really, really tight hamstrings. So we're gonna go through that stretch, it's gonna be very beneficial, and we're gonna go through some variations of the exercise that we were doing in the previous week as well. So if you're ready to go, let's get started. I hope you've had a good day so far for your Rosa. We've got a few hours left and then we're gonna be able to open it. Again, you don't have to do these workouts right before the fast opens. I prefer that you do between 45 minutes and 30 minutes before the fast opens. So right when you finish, you can kind of open it with some water and some dates and then go and have your food. But you can also have and do this workout after the Rosa opens, after the Iftar or anytime in the morning as well, before Sahed as well, if you feel that that is better for you. So. Again, you don't have to do it at this time, but I prefer that you would. And also you don't have to go back and start from day one if you're just joining in. So if you're just seeing this video for the first time, you can join right in at day six, because all the workouts are fairly different and they all build on top of each other, but it's not that big of a deal. You'll still be fine as you, as you carry on. So without further ado, let's get started. The first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna do marching again, like last time, instead of three sets of 25, today we're gonna do three sets of 50 marches, okay? So let's get going. We're gonna bring our knees up to our hips and we're gonna march. That's four, five, six, seven. I'm gonna breathe eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Breathe guys, 16, 17. I'm gonna show you from the side, 18, 19, 20, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine, thirty, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and forty. Last ten. One, two, three. Good job, guys. You guys are doing amazing. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and fifty. Well done. So now we're gonna take a thirty-second break. We're gonna breathe a little bit, right? And if that was really tough for you, that's okay. You can stick to 25 or 35 or 45 and just stop until I finish and then continue to take the break with us, okay? So let's breathe. And we're ready to go again for the second set. Ready? Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Good job guys. Thirteen. Breathe. Fourteen. Fifteen. In through your nose, out through your mouth. Seventeen. Eighteen. Nineteen. Twenty. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Twenty. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, thirty, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, forty. Last ten, come on, one, you got it, two, let's go, move. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and fifty. Well done guys, you're doing great. 30 seconds again before the last set. Let's get right into the breathing so that we can bring our heart rate down and kind of control, control our breathing and our heart rate so we can recover for the last set. Guys, I'd love to know your feedback so far with these workouts. You guys have been doing amazing. I've been getting some amazing feedback. So please do, do you know, even make videos of you guys working out. Send them to me on my Instagram or just you know, message me as well with a little bit of your, your uh, thoughts about how you guys are feeling with these workouts and these videos and how much 
great results you guys are getting so far. I've been getting so much love. Thank you so much. Please keep those comments and those videos coming with you guys doing the workouts all around the world. You guys are really, really motivating me to keep going with this because you're showing your support. So we're gonna do the last set now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Very nice, nine, 10, 12, breathe. 13, 14, 15, 17, 18, 19, 20, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, breathe, eight, nine, and 30. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, forty, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, almost there guys, and 50. Beautiful, you guys are doing amazing. So we have a minute break now, then we're gonna do our next exercise, which is gonna be push-ups again. But today we're gonna do the push-ups a little bit differently, okay? So let's take a few seconds to breathe again. Nice and slow inside. And then nice and slow outside. Very nice, guys. Beautiful. So these marches are still a little bit difficult if you've never done them before. They seem fairly easy, but once you get to 50, you're, you're going to kind of start to see a little bit of burn in your quads and your heart rate is also starting to go up a little bit, right? So what we're going to do now is we're going to get into the next exercise, which is going to be push-ups. I'm just going to teach you how to do them and then we're going to start. So what I want you to do is I want you to do three, three sets of six to eight push-ups today. And I want you to pause for one to two seconds at the bottom position and then push back up. Okay, so this is, gonna, this is another way to help you build your strength in your upper body. So what we're gonna do is, we're gonna get started. So like we've been doing since last week, we're gonna keep practicing our push-ups. So hands right underneath the chest, we're gonna go down, we're gonna pause, and then push back up. One, pause, and two, very nice. Pause, three, pause, four, pause and five, breathe, pause, six, very fine, very nice, seven, beautiful, and that's eight, so that was very nice guys, we have a 30 second break now, so you see how I paused for about one to two seconds, that's a great way to build some strength in your chest because you decrease the momentum of the exercise. So there's an, there's an elasticity motion to the exercise where you kind of spring down and then you use that momentum to spring back up. But when we pause, we're taking that elastic motion out and we're actually forcing the muscle to work from ground zero again and push it back up. So that's a great way to build strength in the muscles, especially for your upper body, your chest and your arms and your shoulders, right? So now we're gonna get ready to do the second set. Ready and let's go. Pause, one, breathe in on the way down, pause for two seconds, and breathe out on the way up. Three, four, pause, five, pause, six, pause, seven, Pause, and eight. Now, I'm doing eight push-ups, but you can do six, you could even do four, right? I'd rather you go all the way down, pause, get a really good contraction, and then push back up, then just try to, you know, get to eight just because I'm going to eight. So I want you to stick with me, but also want you to do it with a good form, right? So good job, keep breathing, let's go. We got one more set. Okay, let's do the last set. Good job, guys. This is our second exercise. We're doing amazing. The last set for the second exercise, okay? And let's go. Breathe in, pause, and breathe out. One, two, three, 
four. Breathe. Pause. Five. Pause. Six. Pause. Seven. One more. Pause. And that's eight. Look at that. You guys are killing it. So that's three sets done. Good job, guys. That's your second exercise done for the day. Now we're going to move on to our third exercise after we do a little bit more breathing. And that's again going to be a plank, which is going to be for your core. But we're going to do a different variation of the plank, which is going to be a plank twist. So it's going to utilize the side of your core as well. So I'm going to teach you how to do that correctly. And then we're going to get right into it. So let's take a few minutes, a few seconds to breathe now. So with a plank twist, what you want to do is you're pretty much on the floor doing the plank and you're rotating your hips side to side, right? So you're rotating your hips side to side. You're not dropping them down like this and swinging around like you'll see most people doing. We're just going to keep our body straight, drop our hips one way and then pull from the other side and pull it back the other way. So I'm showing you in this position because it'll be hard to show you in this angle, but now we're going to get right into it. So what we're going to do is, here we go. We're in the plank position. And from here, what I want you to do is drop your hip like this, rotate it here, pause, and then pull from the opposite end of your stomach and pull it back to the other side. And then pull again like this. That's two, three. I don't want you to drop it like this, okay? That's not gonna do anything. It's gotta be nice and slow and controlled. That's three, that's four. That's five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and fifteen. Good job, guys. We're going to do three sets of fifteen, okay? So nice and slow and controlled, and that's gonna be about 30 seconds of you actually doing that plank, right? So we're gonna take a 30 second break now for the first set is done. Now we're gonna get on to the second set. Starting to sweat, you guys sweating? Let me know if you're sweating, comment in the section below. How are you guys finding these workouts, guys? It's getting me a good workout as well, just because, you know, with Ramadan, we're also very, very tired, our energy is depleted, lack of water, so it really takes us to start to take a toll on you. That's why these workouts are great, because they're not super hard, but they're still a little challenging to get the work done, right? So now we're gonna move on to the second set. <sighs> Guys, really important to remember to keep on breathing, right? Twist, pull back, one, two, three. You wanna make sure you're going nice and slow and controlled. Five, six, seven, eight, Nine, 10, your whole body should be shaking. If it's shaking, especially your stomach, 12, that's a good sign. 13, 14, and 15. Beautiful guys, 30 seconds, we got one more set, right? So I hope you guys are really able to utilize the side of your core. You're actually gonna use all of it as you rotate. You'll feel it all across your stomach here. Great exercise to build some core stability and some strength. So we're gonna get into breathing again now. Just a few seconds left. Okay, let's move on to the third set, guys. Ready, and let's go. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Try to push your stomach all the way out. 10, engage your core. 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. Beautiful, guys. You're doing amazing. So that's three sets done. 
Now we're gonna move on to our fourth exercise, which is what we did last week, which are called wall sits. But last week we did it for 15 seconds. This week we're gonna do it for 20 seconds. So five more seconds, it's gonna get a little tougher, but I know you guys are strong, you guys can do it. You've been doing amazing so far. So we're gonna get right into it. We're gonna breathe now before we get started. Big deep breaths in guys. So the key to controlling your breathing is to breathe in at the same rate and then breathe out at the exact same rate. A lot of times people breathe in really fast and then they breathe out really fast. You wanna breathe in slowly and also breathe out slowly. So take three seconds to breathe in, three seconds to breathe out. So, right? That was three seconds breathing in, three seconds breathing out. So that's really gonna help you control your heart rate and your breathing and increase your stamina, right? So now we're gonna get right into it after I wipe off some of this sweat. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna get right into the wall sit. Like I said, you wanna go 90 degrees, right? You wanna bring your uh, hips up to 90 degrees, your knees here. And then you wanna put your hands against the wall behind you and your head against the wall behind you. And then what we're gonna do today is we're gonna actually bring our toes up. So all the pressure is on our heels. This is gonna make it a lot tougher. So we're gonna be at seven seconds now, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. Beautiful. So you should really start to feel a burn in your quads here, okay? And there's ways to make this easier and harder as well for yourself. If you wanna make it easier, keep your feet further out, okay? And don't go as low to the floor, uh, as low into the ground. If you wanna make it harder, you can go a little lower and you can bring your feet further back and that's gonna put more pressure on your quads. So if you're anybody that has knee issues, this is a great exercise for that. It really helps to strengthen the knees, okay? So now let's move on. We're gonna get into the second set, 20 seconds again. Ideally, you want this at 90 degrees, right? And toes are up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Really push the ground down, 13, 14. Hold your body up, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. Beautiful, guys. Really starts to burn in those quads. Right, this is called a static exercise. So the muscle is under constant tension the whole time without moving the muscle, without lengthening or shortening the muscle. Great way to maintain muscle mass with limited force, right? So or, uh, the re what I was talking about somebody that has knee issues. So if you have knee problems, I will start out like this. And just put this much pressure on your quads. And as that gets better and better, you can go lower and lower every time to build up that tolerance for the knees, right? So now let's get into the last set, okay? 20 seconds, and we're down. One, two toes up, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. Good job, guys. I know that was a little tough. We moved on a little bit with the weight, with the time, but that's okay, you guys are doing great. Now we're gonna take a little break for one minute, and then we're gonna do our last exercise, which is gonna be a different variation of the standing calf raises. This is gonna be the seated calf raises, okay? So we're gonna breathe a little bit and then I'm gonna take you through why we're doing the seated calf raise versus the standard calf raise. Ah, I'm out of breath, okay. Let's do a few seconds to breathe. You guys think I want you to breathe for you? No, I mostly is breathing for me. <laughs> it's just a way for me to catch my breath. I'm just joking guys, I want you guys to breathe as well. I don't want you to have any issues with doing these workouts, so make sure you keep breathing the whole time. And as you can tell, I just need to breathe three to four times, like good deep breaths, and now look, I'm fine, right? So that's what you wanna do too, just breathe a little bit, and then you're fine. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna do seated calf raises, and that's gonna target the more inner muscle of your calf muscles. They have two muscles, the soleus and the gastrocnemius. So the gastrocnemius muscles on the outside, the muscle that you see right here, and inside there's another layer which is called the soleus, and that only gets targeted when you're sitting and doing it. So if you have a bench, like we used last time, or a stool, I want you to go ahead and get that stool and then come back and we'll get right into it. So I got my stool. 
what I want you to do is, it's very simple. We're gonna keep our feet down, okay, like this. And then what I want you to do is come onto your toes and push your heel all the way up. One, squeeze and bring it back. Actually bring your feet back a little bit more so you can go a little higher. And all the way up, squeeze this part right here. You should feel it here and bring it down. And squeeze, one, two second, come down, three. And four. And five. You wanna push as high as you can. Six, dig your toes into the floor and push down really hard and as a result, your, your heels will come up. That's seven, eight, nine. So we're gonna do 15 to 20. 10, 11, you definitely wanna make sure you pause, 12, at the top really feel that squeeze, 13, 14, 15, squeeze, 16, good job guys, 17, 18, 19, and squeeze, 20. So. This is great because you're able to get that full contraction and bigger range of motion as well. Now you wanna make sure that if this is too easy for you, you can put weights here, right? So you can put two bottles of oil like we talked about in last week, or you can just put two dumbbells here, right? And that will be able to add more weight as you have to push that up against your feet. So you can make it a little bit more harder for yourself by adding some weights, right? So now we're gonna move on to the second set, same concept, we're gonna keep the feet the heel's a little bit further back than your knee, so not here, a little bit further back, so you can go a little higher. And we're gonna go up, squeeze, one. Right, good, two, squeeze. Three, four. And you're probably gonna be a little sore tomorrow because for most of you, you've never done this before. Five, and that's completely okay. Six, and if you've been following the diet that I put out for Ramadan fat loss, you'll notice there's a lot of protein in that diet, so that's gonna help you recover and build the muscle in this month, right? Seven. Eight, if you haven't checked that out, by the way, you definitely should. Nine, it'll help you lose a lot more weight this month. 10, 11, good job guys, you're doing beautiful. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, very nice. 18, keep going, really squeeze at the top. 19 and 20, beautiful guys. We have one more set. Let's take a 30 second break. We're gonna breathe. And then I'm gonna take you through, like always, we're gonna do a stretch at the end that's really gonna help out stretch your hamstrings. And it's also gonna help to take some pressure off your lower back if you're having low back issues. Let's breathe. Even though we don't really need to breathe that much for this one, because it's not that tough. I'm just trying to get you to cool down and just work a smaller muscle. So now we're gonna do our third set. Ready and go up, squeeze and back. Squeeze and back, very nice, that's two, three, good job guys, four, you're doing wonderful, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, squeeze, twelve, you really feel it right here, thirteen, fourteen, 15, again, you can stop at 15 if this is really tough for you, but I think I'd like to get you to 20. 17, if you can push a little bit more. 18, let's push a little bit more. 19, you got it, and beautiful, that's 20. Beautiful, guys. Now we're gonna take a little break and then we're gonna do our stretch, which is the hamstring stretch. So what I wanted to really take home today is that these are great workouts that you can do even after Ramadan. And even if you're not fasting this month and you know someone that could really find benefit from these workouts, please do feel free to share these videos with your friends and especially your Muslim brothers and sisters as well that are fasting this month. So help them out as well, help them get better in their health. So you can definitely share them, share these videos with them and with everybody else that's just looking to start out and get into the fitness journey, right? So what we're gonna do is, now we're gonna start the hamstring stretch. So this is gonna work with a stool again, right? What you wanna do is, you're gonna take your leg, okay, your first leg, and you're gonna put it on top of the stool, right? With your toe pointed out. Now what I want you to do is I want you to pretend like you're gonna take your hips and you're gonna take them behind you, 
behind the wall behind you. Take them towards the wall behind you like this, right? And at the same time, I want you to reach forward in front of the wall in front of you. So you're going in opposite direction. You're taking your hip that way and you're taking your hands that way. And you're just gonna go back and forth. You're gonna reach and come back. You're gonna reach and come back. And every time you reach, you'll feel a nice pull right here in your hamstrings and even in your calves. And it's really gonna feel a little tough because you've probably never done it, but it's gonna be great to, straight, to loosen up the hamstrings a little bit. So that's five. We're gonna do about 10 to 12 per side. Six, breathe, seven. And you're gonna try to go further and further, eight every time. Nine, to shoot your hips back and bring your hands forward. 10, 11, and 12. Beautiful. So you're somebody that has very uh, tight hamstrings or you always have a little bit of low back pain. Sometimes your hamstrings are pulling on your lower back. So it's a good way to release some of that tension in your lower back. So now we're gonna move on to the other side. And again, shoot these hips back and reach forward. One, ooh, feels good. Two, it's tight. Three, good. Four, very nice. Five, six, make sure you're doing it close to a wall in case you lose balance. Seven, and you wanna, eight, and you wanna kinda regain it. 10, sorry, that's nine, that's 10. We got two more, 11, and 12. Beautiful, we're all done, guys. You guys did amazing. Good job, we're gonna see each other tomorrow for day seven. Happy Ramadan, guys, and let's keep praying for each other in this, in this lovely, lovely month and supporting each other. Take care.